Yeah, I always use the Hangout toolbox and turn it up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, thank you. What about you? I'm great, thanks. Um, I so? I have uh, to attend your class for 30 minutes because I have a, a meeting with, a, with the teacher. Uh, ah, okay. In 30 minutes. No problem. All right. Um, so today we're looking at models of ability and permission and ancient Rome. So do you prefer to travel alone or in a group? And no, what? In a group. <laughs> because I, I think it's, um, you have to share uh, what you think about a place with friends or with family mm -hmm. to comment uh, what you think about uh, any place. And, um, but if I, if I don't find a, a friend or a member of my family who can travel with me, and maybe I, I can travel alone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I but generally, travel. you'd rather be with someone? <laughs> yes, I think it's, it's more, uh, it's, um, you, you share great times with this uh, person. And, uh, uh, you don't know, maybe if uh, I don't, I don't like to, to think in uh, something bad uh, could happen to me, but uh, I think in, in, it's better to to travel with, with someone. Mm -hmm. You never know. <laughs> so I think it's, it's more, uh, you have a, a lot of fun sharing uh, the, sharing the, the places or comment about the places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be kind of a more rewarding experience, maybe, when you're with friends. Yes, yeah. I, I like going alone, too, but yeah, mm, not as much, though. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you travel alone? Well, while I was in France, I went on a couple, like, overnight trips by myself, or day trips, sometimes when I wanted to just leave. <laughs> but <laughs> within France, I would go for like a day to a castle or something but yeah. I don't I wouldn't go on a big trip by myself I don't think uh -huh. I only remember once when I traveled to uh, part because I, I find um, a schoolmate mm -hmm. in uh, Germany yes I, I was in, in Spain mm -hmm. and we meet in I think in, in Germany uh, no in Barcelona sorry okay. and we, we traveled to, to Bonn and when uh, I returned, uh, she took a train to um, uh, Paris, and I took a train to uh, Barcelona. So I traveled alone. I think it, it was the first time that I traveled alone. I traveled alone from, no, we traveled from Bonn to Paris, and then I traveled alone uh, Paris to Barcelona, okay. Paris, mm, uh, uh, by bus. I was a long trip. I well, it was good. I think it was a good experience. You didn't mind being by yourself? Uh, no, this time I'm, I'm uh, I don't know, I, I, I never know that uh, something happens to me. And yeah. I, <laughs> I sit uh, beside, beside me, uh, it was a Spanish uh, woman, I think uh, maybe in, in her, she's maybe in her 50s. Mm -hmm. So we 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 spoke uh, we talk we talk uh, uh, the whole trip. So mm -hmm. was that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, I went by myself to Lyon, um, and that was a pretty long bus ride, but uh, yeah. like six hours or something. But um, I did the same thing. I just met people on the bus, mm -hmm. and you know, just kind of made some friends along the way, and it was fine. Um, yes. I think the only thing that I would be worried about is like what you said, if something were to happen mm. and then nobody knows where you are. Yeah. Uh, but, you know. But now when, with uh, your cell phone, you, you can uh, call your family or something. Mm -hmm. It's True. more safer now. Yeah. yeah. Um, hi, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. <laughs> Thanks, so. are you there? <laughs> I know he's there. Are you muted? We can't hear you. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Um, here's another question. Have you ever lost while you're traveling? 
uh, let me think. I know, almost. The first trip, uh, I traveled with my um, sister and a friend of us. And when we took the, um, I think it's the metro in the Madrid Air at the Madrid airport. Mm -hmm. uh, and a man who's, uh, we are uh, st standard uh, in the metro, and a, a man uh, advised me to be careful because uh, there is a, another man behind me that tried to to open my uh, uh, my back. My, uh, because uh, I I don't uh, at this time uh, we didn't have a, the a sweet a small suitcase. It's like mm -hmm. a, I think it's like a, a how do you say mochila backpack back. Uh, a handbag, backpack, yes. like backpack over your shoulders. Yes. Yeah, uh, backpack. And maybe I, I forgot to to lock it, and uh, he tried to open my uh, my backpack, but uh, fortunately uh, nothing happened. And thanks to the other man, um, but because uh, inside I have my passport, and because it was the first time that we traveled, so we we didn't have a lot of experience. So it's not good to to um, keep your passport into your bag. No. Hmm, but uh, fortunately, <laughs> nothing happens. No, but I think no. Uh, this this was the only thing that I remember. But I know uh, I never uh, lost anything. Mm -hmm. Thanks to God <laughs> in in any trouble. And what about you? Me. Mm. Yeah, I've been lost a few times. <laughs> I've never lost anything, but um, I don't have a very good sense of direction. So, um, and also, all the maps in Europe seem to be backwards. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Yes. <laughs> I get I get lost really easily. So, but whenever I get lost, I just kind of you know ask people where I am, where I'm going, what's going on. Or I'll take a break and you know go have a coffee and try not to cry <laughs> and then find my way. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been lost before. I just it doesn't phase me any. I don't get stressed out really anymore. Like mm -hmm. the first few times I went, I was traveling, I would get really stressed whenever something would go wrong. I'd be like, oh no. <laughs> but now I, you know, just yeah. eh, eh. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of take it as it comes. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's just fun. Mm -hmm. uh, Lorenzo, you're there. We thought you we lost yes. you. Like, what happened? <laughs> no, yeah, the connection. My connection was awful. Mm -hmm. It happened. Mm. 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 Do you yeah. prefer to travel alone or in a group? I prefer to do it in a group. Mm -hmm. it's, Why? It's better. Mm -hmm. You feel protected. Uh, even though, <laughs> let me tell you a story okay. that, that happened here in my country, because uh, when when the earthquake happened in Haiti, uh, many many doctors came from different countries here to help all the Haitian who was in our hospital, and mm -hmm. um, a group of doctors uh, got out of the hotel. To just to to know the city, they visit a park, mm -hmm. and <laughs> they were uh, walking in a group, and they they were mugged, mugged, mugged. Yes, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> even though they were uh, walking in a group, um, it just you see how dangerous is this trip. So the whole but, group got mugged. Yes, wow. the whole group. It was it was two groups divided. Oh my god! I mean, ten people was walking forward, and the other ten people will, were behind. Mm -hmm. And they were they, they the the robber mugged the two groups. <laughs> first the first the the first group, and then the other group. <laughs> Was it just one person? No, no, it was two. It was oh, okay. uh, riding a motorcycle, and that happened. Wow! Oh my gosh! It was <laughs> incredible. 
<laughs> you weren't there, though, were you? Huh? You weren't there, were you? Your friends told no, you. No, no, no. Oh, okay. No, no. It was. Yeah, I I read it in a newspaper because ah, it was okay. in the border in the border of the, uh, uh, of our country and Haiti. It was. Mm -hmm. Uh, that part of the of the country is very difficult to dangerous to very dangerous yes mm -hmm. close to the Haiti close to Haiti but I prefer to to travel in a group no even matter. though your whole group might get mugged <laughs> <laughs> I think usually it's a bit safer right to be in a group it's safer no matter in which country I be, which country I visit, it better I, I prefer to do it in a group than mm -hmm. than alone because mm -hmm. you don't know. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's better. Okay. Mm. Cool. Mm. All right. So uh, we're looking at. For some reason, there's no pronunciation thing with this class, so no pronunciation. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna look at models, so we'll jump right into it. Okay. Um, there's the link. Okay. Model from ability. Okay. Yeah. Ability. Ability. Eh. Eh. Uh, uh, ability. Ability. Like this. Ability. 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 <laughs> Perfect. And promotion. Um, Liliana, do you want to read the first part for us? Uh, yes. Uh, first, there are many types of modal verbs. In this lesson, we will talk about ones used for ability and permission. Models are uh, ones, the ones used. Yeah, <laughs> typo. <laughs> okay, uh, models are used to express the mood a verb, oh such as <laughs> such the mood of a verb, such as uh, ability, possibility, and other conditions. You do not conjugate modal verbs, and they cannot be used without a main verb. The most common models of ability and permission are can, could, may. Good. Uh, second, do I continue? Um, sure. Okay. Uh, second, the main model of possibility is can. You use can when talking about something in the present and future. Construction. Subject, I, she, Bob, plus can, plus verb. Mary can drive a truck. They can fly the new Boeing airplane. Good. Um, maybe, Lorenzo, do you want to read about could? Okay. Could, cool, is used could. for... Could. Yeah. Could is used for talking about things in the past. Contraction. Subject, I, she, Bob, plus cool, plus birth. Jenny could sleep just five hours a night when she was in college. I could eat as much uh, as much as I wanted when I was younger. Good. Can you pronounce could one more time? Could. Could. And Liliana? Could. Good. So it should be an uh uh sound. Uh. Could. could. Like um I've t told you both probably this before. Someone punches you in the stomach, right? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Could. Same with would and should. Okay. Um, and it's the same sound that's in words like foot, cook, foot, cook. It's an uh sound. Not an oh, ooh. Cut. Not an ooh. It, there's no L. It's, it's silent. So it's like this. Could. Could. Cook is like this. Cook. Uh. Okay. So foot is pronounced foot, 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 foot could, foot. okay. Foot, food, foot, food, food. food. So in, in food it's oo, in foot it's uh. Okay, uh, okay. So um, let me show you something. Here it is. Oh no, that's not it. I have. Rachel's English. Here. 
here it is, that sound. Like pull. Shell English. So words like pull, cookies, sugar. So there's a four minute video where she goes over a big list of words that have that uh sound and she's showing you how to pronounce mm. it. Um, yeah. Rachel English. Rachel. Rachel so like, English. But, um, let me find, we've got, what else? Trying to find you a list of them. So if you look here, it's showing you. And share my screen again. Kind of some differences. This is the phonetic alphabet. It's this kind of horseshoe-looking thing. Um, so it's really common to confuse that sound with the U. And you have to, you have to make sure you're pronouncing them differently. So it's this uh full pull look versus pool pool Luke. Full, pool, pull, pool. You hear the difference? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Can you try them for me, um, Liliana? Uh, hey, can you repeat it first, yeah. please? Full, full. Full, full. Good. And the next one, pull, pool. Pull, pool. And look. Sorry, look, Luke. Look, I know it's difficult. Look, it's like oh. No, that's that's perfect. Look, 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 Luke, Luke, Luke. Is you do you? No, no, no. It's an L. Luke, Luke. Luke. It's the ah. same, same, exact same sound. Fool, okay. pool, Luke. Think of it like this. Uh -huh. Luke. Okay. Uh, Luke. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Um, Lorenzo, can you try them? Full, pool. Full, full. Pull, pool. Pull, pool. Look, Luke. Look, Luke. Yeah. So this uh sound, that's what's in could, should, would. Okay. That, uh, okay. uh sound. Uh, 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 so Samantha, the same uh, pronunciation is. Uh, with the name that I write out now, Paul Lock. Paul Lock. Paul, Paul is this ah, uh, Paul, 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 and Lock is also. Okay, diff sounds different. Ah, uh, it's an ah uh sound, not an uh. Okay. Yeah, different. So for spelling, if you're like, well, when do I use this? Um, a lot of the time, it's the double O. Or just okay. a U or the UD. All of the UDs are that O sound. Could, okay. would, should. Push, full, sugar, good, look, childhood, understood. Right? Um, woman. And then when it's plural, women. Women. Mm -hmm. um, here's more of them. This is for the O sound. So two, food, true, new, super. Yeah, pretty common. Um, that's a really common error. Okay. Mm -hmm. You say, you say woman? Woman you? one woman, two women. Woman and women? Right. Good woman. It's the same uh sound. Woman. So one woman two two women. Okay. One woman, two women. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I just Created my own pronunciation. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's important with this one because of the because of could. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I have problems with my short vowels, but I'm working on them with Miracle. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's really in, hard to me, <laughs> short vowels. In her pronunciation uh, workshops. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's good. It's it's normal though because of your language. Um, that's just one thing that's just so it's standard for you to have trouble with. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. the more you work on it, you'll you'll get it. <laughs> yes, yes, at the beginning. Uh, it's very fun. <laughs> yeah. um, so.
So, okay, so Lorenzo's read it for us. Uh, could is for talking about things in the past. So it's just the past of can when we're talking about ability, right? Jenny could sleep. I could eat. Um, and then uh, Liliana, do you want to read could have for us? Okay, could have. We use could have when talking about about an abil ability or opportunity that you had but did not do. Construction. Uh, subject, I, she, Bob, plus could have, could, yes, could. Could, could have. Could have, could. plus verb. Mm -hmm. Could have gone to the party. She could have danced all night with him. Good. The, and do I continue or I stop there? Yeah, you can continue. Okay, there are negative uh, forms for can and could. Construction, subject, I, she, Bob, plus cannot, can't, or could not, couldn't, plus verb. I can't swim at all. Tim couldn't work on the project. Good. Um, so you're saying can't, which is fine. It's British. Yes. <laughs> versus, versus can't is American. So nothing wrong with what you said, but just to so you know. The, uh, okay. Right? It's like ah, uh, uh, Yeah. Can't, can't. It sounds British. Can't. Sounds American. Can't. So, can't. How to write this? A. Thing like that. I don't know. Can't. A. A. Can't versus can't. So okay. it kind of depends on what accent you're going for. You were you were reading it this way. Mm -hmm. um, right. So it's up to you. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just mm -hmm. so you know that it sounds a bit different. Uh, ah, okay, it's clear. Mm -hmm. um, a. <laughs> a um, slash Canadian. Yes, A. A. <laughs> a, a. <laughs> yeah. we, talk, we talk about uh, this and James Peaver. Uh, do you know him? Just uh, who? James, uh, yeah. James, James Peaver. Peaver? Yeah. The mm -hmm. other Canadian teacher, yes. We talked about this, uh, I think, yesterday, last night. Um, <laughs> Have you guys ever heard me say A in class? No, never. No, I'm really no, no. careful. <laughs> because <laughs> I did it one time and Ferkin was like, Ah, you said A, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> no, I never. <laughs> you know, we actually, it's the weirdest thing, but I feel like I only say it when I'm talking to other Canadians. <laughs> so ah. Like, I don't know why, but in France, we never said it. I, I was never saying it. And then a girl that I worked with was also Canadian, and we were all sitting in the staff room together, and me and her were kind of bantering back and forth, and I guess we kept saying it, and yeah. our British co-workers were like, you guys, you're saying A every like, five <laughs> words. What is going on over there? <laughs> it's so true. Sam we, Samantha, we it happened to you that uh, when you visit uh, UK, to start speaking like like them? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, you'd have to be there for a while. Um, yes, because it happened to us. For example, oh. if if we visit, if someone visit Puerto Rico, yeah, they start to, Your <laughs> to accent speak like to... the accent. Yes, it mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. Oh, totally. Like for example, my um my grandparents, they're British. I've told you guys, um, okay. but they've been living in Canada for oh, like 50 years almost, okay. um, and they still have a British accent, but it's wow. very diluted. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they have not get used to, to speak like a Canadian. I don't think they yet. want to, to be completely... <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't, because I think they like their, you know, they're very British, they like their heritage and everything. <laughs> But um, okay. you could st if you were to meet them, you would know immediately that they were from England. That it, mm. it's obvious, but their accent is very diluted compared to um, other. You know the word diluted when I'm saying that. Diluted. No. Yeah, you can dilute things by adding water to them. Like you can dilute your coffee if you uh -huh. add water to it to make it less strong, weaker. Uh, so okay. The okay. Accent okay. is diluted. You, uh -huh. you see, you're adding Canadian yes. to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So, yeah. Um, okay. Um, 
Right, so could have. Um, you can use it to talk about an ability that you had but didn't do. You didn't go through with it, right? Um, in the negative, it turns into can't or couldn't. Um, and then we also use them to make polite requests, right? May, could, can. If you're talking about um, kind of your register of language, may and could are more polite, and can is more familiar. Mm -hmm. um, it's not impolite by any means, um, but it's more familiar sounding. Like, could you help me move tomorrow versus can they please turn down the music? Mm -hmm. Could sounds more polite. Can sounds more like what you would say to a friend, right? And uh, with, uh, sorry, uh, with could you don't need to write please? I you can. Yeah. Please. The please is optional, but I mean it's always nice to say please, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but it's optional in both cases. Also, please can go here or it can go here. At the end. At the end. Yeah, it can either go um, subject or at the end, but not both. That's a bit, that's no. overkill, right? right. Um, <laughs> and, and not at the front. That's actually a common mistake as well, to put it first. Like, please, could you help me move? That sounds really awkward to me. So mm -hmm. you would either put it here or, or at the end. Okay. There okay. we go. <laughs> um, and then may also. May is also polite. May goes kind of along with could but we're only really using it with I and we in questions. So may we share the table? May I get you anything else? Um, may I get you anything else versus you anything else? Um, for example, I worked at a restaurant for a long time and this is what I would say. Can I get you anything else? So. It's familiar to the point where if you've been talking to someone for a little while, it's okay to use can. It's not rude or anything, you know. Um, may is super polite. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm not, it's not that I'm an impolite person, but when I would be talking with customers, I would be talking like this, you know, like they're, you know, it's kind of same level. So I wouldn't want to sound like I'm sort of talking down to them. So <laughs> can isn't it's not rude or anything. Um, yeah. Samantha, yeah, I, I've, I read an, an article about this kind of m models and permission, mm -hmm. uh, may, might, can, cool, and um, it was very under understandable when uh, because they used the the uh, percent of possibility. For example, mm -hmm. May, it, it is 50% uh, of possibility that this happened. Mm -hmm. uh, I, ah, lost, right. I, lost, I lost that article. It was very interesting mm. because it, it can, you can figure it out uh, how to use it or when to use it. Right. So it was an interesting article. Models uh, of possibility. So we're looking yes. at just ability and permission, so it's different. Yes. Yeah, possibility, okay. um, you use some of the same words, but dif you use them differently. I can see if I can find it for you. Was it online? It was, It was. I think it, someone posted on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It was British Council, I don't know. Let me... It was uh, British Council or IELTS, IELTS website, I don't know, I don't remember. Or Colingo, one of them. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm taking a look mm. now, really quickly. Um, usually, if you just search for like percentage, I don't know. I'll see if I can find it, and I'll put it on my Facebook page if I find. Okay. If I find it. <laughs> um, okay. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. Okay. It might be on Grammarly too, where someone put together like a picture with. Yeah. 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 I, yeah, I remember seeing it. Okay. Um, also, what's left? Oh, our questions. Um, to answer polite questions, you can either say yes or no, right? Um, yes, he may. Yes, she may is formal. Yes, you can. Yes, he can. Less formal. Um, for no, it's the same way. No, you may not. No, he may not. No, you cannot or can't, right? 
Um, so depending on the question, your answer should match, basically. Um, you could also say, of course, certainly, sure, sure thing. <laughs> Without okay. a doubt. Um, I don't know. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Never. Mm. Um, et cetera. Yeah. That's Lots of the less, impolite, less polite. Yeah, this one's a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> or, um... Never again. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, any questions about these ones? No. It's clear. Okay. This is a kind of review. Uh, it's yeah. lot, uh, I have to go. Okay. Yeah, sadly, no I have to go because it's an interesting class. No problem. Okay. Have fun. Bye bye. Do you have your one -on -one? Uh, sorry? Do you have your one on one right now? Yes, one on one. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I tried. I I said uh, I will say to him if, if maybe he changed uh, at least uh, 30 minutes to to uh, attend your class. <laughs> I only have to stop in the middle of your class. <laughs> oh, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Have a good okay. day. You too. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye bye bye, Lorenzo. Bye bye, Liliana. Bye. It's just you and me. <laughs> yeah. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> one on one. <laughs> Okay. okay. So history.com. Yeah. Do you okay, here we go. Okay. Um The Secrets of Ancient Roman Concrete. Okay. How about why don't you well, read this time? Oops, what did I do? Why don't okay. you read? Since it's just mm. me and you. <laughs> okay. Me. <laughs> the first part. Yeah, just the first part. Okay. Uh, the secrets of ancient Roman concrete. There's no doubt that the ancient Romans were master builders. Many temples, roads, and aqueducts constructed during Roman times have held up remarkably well. Despite the wear, the wear and tear in the form of military invasions, tourist mouth and natural disasters such as earthquake they have they have had to endure. In particular ge ge geologists and engineers has long been fascinated by Roman harbors, many of, many of which stand almost intact after two thousand years or more. Despite contents powdered by Sweater, sweater. Sea water. Sea water. Yeah, it's a compound word. Okay, sea water. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, a team of researchers from Italy and the United States has analyzed a sample of concrete taken from breakwater in Italy's Pozzuoli Bay, at the northern tip of Bay of Naples. Naples. Which, Naples, which dates back to 37 before Christ. Mm -hmm. Their findings report earlier this month in the Journal of the American Ceramic Society, an American mineral, minor, 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 mineralogist, miner, mineralo, mineralogist. <laughs> you too. mineralogist, I can't say it either. The, uh, okay. Someone who studies minerals. <laughs> mineral, yes, that one. A mineral guy. <laughs> mineral guy, that one okay. is better. <laughs> May revolu revolutionize mm -hmm. modern architecture. Good. Um, okay. So, again, since it's just me and you, um, okay. I picked out some words to kind of look at your pronunciation before we talk about it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So, can you read the first one for me? Do you see them in the chat? Uh, let me see. Hell, wear, tear, Dave, particular, researcher, 30, their journal. Okay, so the first one is held. 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 Eh, held. Eh. Held. Yes. Held. Held. It's an eh sound. Like, held. Um, Held. Like same sound in held, but in bed. Like that. Held. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Held. Same okay. sound in bed, Ned, 
Mm. Okay. That, whatever. Um, okay. Okay, and the next one, it's wear and tear. It's wear and tear. Yeah, it's the air sound. Wear, tear. The, sec the second one, I, I thought it was tear. Tear from your eyes. Yeah, it depends. So to tear... Um, Ah, okay, to, to, to tear a paper, tear. to tear a paper. Yeah, this is it to tear, this is a tear. Okay. Okay, <laughs> so when you're crying, you have tears. tears when you're okay. ripping, it's a tear, so tear is the verb. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, tear can be a verb as well. You can, um, mm. you can tear up. Tear, tear up. To tear up is to get kind of tears in your eyes. Um, okay. Wear, tear. And then the, uh, the it's your th sound. So they th they thirty there. It's just when you're reading it, your th is disappearing a little bit. So make okay. sure you get your tongue out when you're doing it. They 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 thirty. Okay, Dave 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 thirty there thirty. 30, 30, 30, 30. Try this. 30, 33 teeth. Teeth. 33, 33 teeth. Good. Okay. It's better. Okay. And then um, what's next? Particular. Particular. It sounds like the word you in the middle. Okay. Particular. Mm -hmm. Particular. Particular. Researchers. 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 Yeah, and just to emphasize the first uh, syllable. This, the first part is up. Right. Researchers. 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 Research. Particular. With particular, it's in the, the okay. second syllable. Particular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Journal. Good. Jo Journal. 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 Think of it like this. Journal. Jo Journal. Journal. Mm -hmm. um, and Journal. don't... don't um, don't lose your J when you're reading. Your J was sounding like a Y a little bit, like mm, um, in the yearn in the urinal almost. Not quite, but a little bit. Um, so just don't lose your J J J J J, j sound. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So just just some little things. Since it's just me and you, we can do that. Okay. <laughs> um, so okay. let's talk about. It. Can you name any historical buildings that were built in Roman Europe? In Roman Europe, hmm. um, the um, what is the name of this uh, empire of Rome? That is, I don't remember. <laughs> Let's Google. <laughs> yes, yes. Like Rome, for example, here's our wiki uh, page. Uh, Ram. Oops, Roman. Empire. Here it Let's is. Let's see it then. Let's see our list. Mm, build, building. Mm -hmm. Okay, I found it. I found this one. Ah, here this it is. is the. Uh, like the Colosseum. The Colosseum, mm -hmm, the Pantheon, and the most, the uh, the most famous one, the most famous one is the. Let me see what is the name of this one, who has uh, strong and big columns. Mm -hmm. This is. Uh, let me see. This one. The Pantheon. Yes, that one. Mm -hmm. Pantheon. Mm, it looks like that the one, but click click on this one. Parthenon. Parthenon. This, one? this one's. Parthenon. Yeah, yeah this one's yes, Greek. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's Parthenon. Greek. <laughs> that one's. Yeah, it's in Greece. <laughs> That's okay. We can uh, go to Greece too. I, Why not? <laughs> I, I was I was close. <laughs> Uh, oh, here's your link. I see it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the Parthenon. Mm -hmm. That was no, no, no. That was cool. the Acropolis, I think. Acropolis. Oh, yours? I, I didn't. Oh, right. Yeah, they're similar. They're All similar. these columns. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
would you would you prefer to see a building from the Roman Empire or something more modern? What is your style? Like, what interests you? Mm, more modern. More modern? Yes. Why? Or like uh, all, all, all the stones. <laughs> I'm fed, I'm fed up of old stone. I have many many places here that is old stone made by uh, uh, by uh, Christopher Columbus area era. era. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I prefer model model style. Modern style. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> because I'm sick of stones. <laughs> <laughs> Too much stone. Um, yeah, I I like. Well, I haven't really seen any of these. I've seen a few ancient pieces mm. of architecture, but not that many. So I think it's more interesting to me to see older stuff. But ah, okay. Well, it, go ahead. Go ahead. No problem. Yeah, I will. You want to come? <laughs> okay. <laughs> come to Rome. <laughs> okay. No problem. <laughs> If you had a chance to talk to someone from ancient Rome, what would you ask them? Mm, uh, why, why they wanted to conquer the whole world, the whole world, whole world, whole world. Mm -hmm. Yes, why they want to conquer mm -hmm. the whole, the whole Europe. I'm part of Africa and Asia, I think. Yeah. Mm. Be an interesting question. So, what else would you yeah. ask? Mm. I don't know. It could be. Mm. I don't know. I don't... It could be. I would ask them about their buildings. Like, how did you get all of those? <laughs> <laughs> pillars put together so beautifully and what, why are they still standing <laughs> yeah yes why they they uh, is because of the the desire of con conquer mm -hmm. they build the this kind of contraction mm -hmm. they made this kind of contraction it was because of that mm -hmm. I mean to conquer and to to impress the, the the other nations mm -hmm. could be I don't know yeah probably <laughs> trying to show their power and show their power yes yeah. okay yeah. if you were to travel to Italy what would you do <laughs> to taste their pizza okay I would taste how, their pizza yes how different how different it is from American one <laughs> mm. Probably very different. Very different. Yes, because I have heard that some friends that have visited visited that pizza is quite different. Mm -hmm. I mean, the pizza that I know, uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and some local pizza here in my country, mm -hmm. it tastes different from Italy one. Mm -hmm. This, if I Google it. It looks a lot different. It like, looks like a yes. It, it looks like a that that is not cook cook it. Mhm. Mm like it's, it's not, not cooked. It's not well baked. It's not baked. 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 Mm. It's not well baked. Actually, it looks a lot like the pizza in France. Um, in France, is the same. Yeah, like this. Uh, I, I have heard too also that the pizza is sold uh, it's not by it's not by piece it's, they have to wait yeah to it's the like pizza. they serve it like this in France um, okay where they give you the whole pizza and a fork and a knife okay and then okay. they give you like spicy oil that you can put on it um, okay mm -hmm. so you know it, let me tell you that the best pizza is who, uh, which is baked in a hot stone. Do you know it? Yeah, on a hot st on a in a in stone a oven or in a stone oven. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the best one. 
Yeah, that's how it gets that color on it, right? Like the black kind of blotches. Yeah. Oh, now yeah. I want pizza and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> that's your favorite, your favorite uh, uh, dessert. I actually miss the pizza in France. It's really good, the pizza in France. And um, mm, all you really? can get here is like Pizza Hut and Domino's and Pizza Pizza. And American. Uh, I hate. I hate Domino's. Um, Why? Uh, no, it's too greasy. Yeah, it is greasy. It's greasy. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what else about Italy? Pasta. Pasta, yeah, pasta. But pasta with sauces. With sauces? Sauces. What kind of sauce? Or do you mean sauces? Sauces. 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 Yeah, so like tomato sauce? Yes, tomato sauce. Or Alfredo uh, sauce? Uh, or Alfredo. Yes, Alfredo is good. Mm -hmm. Tastes good with Alfredo one. I wonder how different um, pasta is in Italy. From the Italian students that I've met, they all say, ah, you've never tried pasta. You've never <laughs> tried. You don't know pasta. I'm like, oh. <laughs> you have to have fresh pasta. It has to be a certain way. <laughs> I, I guess That's meant that they have the best one. Mm -hmm. Because um, in Chinese restaurant they they have a good one too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Pasta? Yes. Uh, now the Chinese, I taste uh, a Vietnamese restaurant mm. it was very good pasta. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Interesting. It was uh, uh, like uh, it was a hard pasta, hard. It, it was like a raw, raw like pasta. Undercooked or raw? Un undercooked, undercooked. So you have to pour pour some sauce, hot sausage, and it's delicious. Hmm. Delicious. Interesting. Pour. Think of it. Pour. 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 Same way. Pour. 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 Pour some sausage, hot sausage. Huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds interesting. I don't know if I'd want to eat raw pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's good. I don't know. <laughs> yes, it's good. It's good, but okay. with the with the hot pasta, mm -hmm. with the hot sausage, of course. Cool. Mm. Um. Okay. Let's. I'm gonna get you to read. Maybe just a little bit more. Oops. Okay. Um, it's I your turn know. or my turn. Uh. Do you want me to read or would you like to read? It's up to you. Let me read it. Yeah. You have to read it a lot. <laughs> so maybe just this this part here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Built in the second century AD, Rome's Pantheon is still the largest unreinforced concrete dome in the world. Credit. <laughs> I stuck photo that comes. <laughs> okay. History contains many references to ancient concrete including in the writings of the famous Roman scholar Pliny the Elder, who lived in the first century AD and died in the eruption of Mount Venus Vesuvius, Vesuvius in AD 70, 79. Pliny wrote that the best maritime concrete was made from volcanic, volcanic ash found in the regions around the Gulf of Naples, especially from near the model day town of Posili. Its virtues became so well known that ash with similar mineral characteristic, no matter where it was found in the world, has been dubbed Posolan. Mm -hmm. okay. Um. okay. Your eye sounds, you're making, um, I sound? instead of an eh, you're making an e. So it should be still, not steel. Eh, eh. A, a steel. St, eh, eh. Think eh, of the eh. word set. Set. Be. Set. Okay. Bet. 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 Um, Bet. Bet. Ben. Ben. Still. Still. Yeah, it's an eh, not an e. Same with okay. similar. Similar. Still, still. 
steel, steel. Right, still, still, steel, still, steel. Steel, different. steel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then it's the same sound in similar, similar. Similar, similar. Similar, not Sim similar. Similar. Like this. Similar, similar. Mm -hmm. Sim, seem, sim, seem. Sim, similar, similar. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And then uh, century, it's that sound. Cent century, century. 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 And your, your, when you have an R, an R in the middle of a word, um, we're losing your R sound a little bit. So, word. Speaking, yeah, it should be world, wor, er, er, world. Word, word. So you have to get from er to o, erled. Word. So your tongue is like here, right? Wor, er, okay. er. And then you okay. have to flip it up and touch the roof okay. of your mouth for the L. Okay. World. Word. Wor, so. Word. Word. Try this. Earl. Earl. Erd. Slowly. Earl. Erd. Earl. Erd. Your Erd. L sound? Oh. When you're making your L, your okay. tongue, it should be pushing okay. just behind your teeth. Right here. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Erd. Erd. It's getting better. Whirl. So your tongue's Word. too far back. Your tongue is too far back. I can hear it. So bring it forward a little bit. Oh, oh. Erd. Oh, world. Word. Yeah, Word. good, good, good. It's getting better. Good. Um, cool. High five. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, let's do uh, some review with your models. So um, okay. I'm going to give you a verb, and I want you to use can, could, can't, or couldn't in a sentence. Okay. You can choose whatever you want, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. Swim. Swim. I could swim the whole swimming pool yesterday. <laughs> okay. The okay. whole. The whole, the whole pool, thing. I mean, <laughs> the com uh, from the one place, the, the length, yes. I can say whole. You would the say the length of the pool. Yes, the length of the pool. Or you could say, I swam laps. I could swam. If you say, I swam laps yesterday, you mean you did this. Ah, OK. That's swimming a lap, going around and around. The length okay. is when you go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. okay. So you could say, I could swim the length of the pool yesterday. OK. Mm, okay. Um, what about uh, eat? Eat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I may eat a pizza if the sausage is good. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. I may eat it if the sausage is good. Um, one more. Mm -mm -mm. Run. Run. I want you to ask a question this time, like you're asking for permission with run. Okay. May I run through this corridor? May, Good, I, may run I run through this corridor? Mm -hmm. And okay. one more um, dance. Another question. Dance. Dance, like. Dance. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can I can dance if if you play the music. Good. I can dance if you play the music. Okay. That's it. Do you have any questions about models or that uh sound or anything else? Um, no, it's okay. clear. The R cool. the R sound some sometimes is a little bit confusing. Cool. Yeah. Like word word. Last day I was practicing the the difference be between word and word and war something like that. Take a look at this. We've got. Okay, I'm gonna stay um, up. One of my favorites. With L and R, like arrive and alive. Alive and arrive. Yeah, and like uh, belly berry. Okay. Interesting. 
I think that, that actually when R and L are together, I think that's what's harder for you. So, like, let me find some. R, L. Let me save this document. Like, um, girl. Um, Where? World. Word. Cle word. Clearly. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think it's separately you're fine, your R and L, but it's when you put them together, you have trouble getting from your R to your L um, when they're beside okay. each other. So that's what you need to practice. Words like world, world, clearly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clear, so clear, clearly, clearly. Yeah. Yeah, good. So it's a matter of getting your tongue to to tap up before you finish your word, right? Whirl, mm. whirl. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Mm. Well, that's it for today. I'll be back okay. tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Samantha. Talk to you soon. Bye. I will send you. I will send you the email. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'll be on okay. my computer for a bit, so we can talk now if you want to. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. Bye, bye. See you soon.